Democrats are now acting as though there's no other alternative that's, that squares with reality, but they had a different point of view three years ago. Fan, you've been in favor of same-sex marriage literally for decades. Absolutely, yeah. True. Well, for, first of all, uh, inside the Democratic Party, there were those of us who in the 1990s were saying that civil unions were not enough, that, um, that we wanted a marriage, and also we were concerned about the, the question of uh, how people were being treated in the military. So there was a fight inside the Democratic Party for a very long time. The reality is we won that fight inside the Democratic Party. We won that fight in the hearts and minds of the American people, and we just won that fight in the U.S. Supreme Court. And so now the people who are on the other side are in a different posture. I, my heart was broken, frankly, to hear uh, Huckabee, who I admire. I'm a Southerner. People forget Mike Huckabee put more African Americans in high position in office as governor than Bill Clinton did. Uh, Mike Huckabee is someone who is a revered person, but when he comes out and makes the kinds of statements that he's sometimes making, it makes him look like someone who doesn't care. I know that he cares. The Republican Party has a big problem now. They now seem to be a party that is so out of touch with the humanity, the basic humanity that was on full display in front of the Supreme Court. And they seem to be more concerned now with hiding behind the old states' rights rhetoric from the, there was anti-civil rights rhetoric of the past than embracing the future. Hugh, I, wanna, I want you to respond to that, but I have to say, um, Democrats were calling for the flag to come down in the wake of the hor horrific terrorist attack uh, at the church, um, but Republicans led the way. Uh, Nikki Haley, mm -hmm. Lindsey Graham, Tim Scott, but with the exception of Graham and Jeb Bush, who took the flag down in Tallahassee 15 years ago, Republican presidential candidates were not leading the way. Uh, not surprisingly, I think Van misunderstands the Republican Party. And, and I'm here to tell you that, in fact, it's not divided. There's quite a lot of, of uh, energy going forward over whether or not who decides. What the Chief Justice said in the dissent is this court is not a legislature. He applied it as well in the Obamacare decision. And I do believe that with, within the Republican Party there will be great unanimity, not division, and they will find in the center of America a great unanimity that it ought to be the people's business to change the law and that it ought to be is not, a, as Justice Scalia is, said. It's a fundamental human right. And I, got, and I got to tell you, I speak as somebody who... You're talking about marriage. I'm, not, I'm talking about marriage. We can go back to the flag in a second, but we, let's talk about the rainbow flag for one minute. This is a fundamental human right. And if we had had to wait... Uh, for the entire American people to say that civil rights were okay for our children, as black children, to go to school together. We'd be waiting a long time and loving the decision. I am in an, I'm in an interracial marriage myself that was not put up for a vote. It was the Supreme Court of the United States that said my marriage is legal, and, and, and other people in the country uh, should have that same right.